gentlemen, tonight we present an evening of Polynesian entertainment on the shores of Makapu, under the skies at Sea Life Park, in the Ahupua'a of Waimana. Welcome to Kamawana, the ocean. <laughs> Are prolific words, the opening lines of the Kumulipo, the Hawaiian chant of evolution, creation, and genealogy, which tells us that all life on earth first began in the ocean. Kamuana. Our legends speak of an ancient rivalry between the ocean and the volcano, between Na Makaokahai, the goddess of the ocean who controls the waves and the tides. Moana and her sister, Pele, the goddess of fire, who controls lightning, wind, and the volcano. Their dispute started eons ago in their ancient homeland. Their final battle would take place on the island of Maui. Pele was defeated. Her bones were scattered across the hillside. The gods felt pity for her. She was immortalized and allowed to roam the earth in spirit form and free from the ocean waves of her sister, Naamaka Okahai. Our legends speak of the most influential person in Pele's life, Lonomakua, the keeper of the flames, for it was he who taught Pele the art of fire making when she was a young girl. He explained that fire is hidden in the wood. Take two dry pieces of wood. The large piece will be placed on the ground. This is the aonaki. aonaki. The smaller piece will be held in the hands. This is the aulima. Rub the aulima into the aonaki to create burning particle dust. Transfer the burning particles into the husk of the coconut. Pass air through the husk set it ablaze. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you The Art of Fire by Lono Makua. the islands. Her final and eternal home is at Kilauea <laughs> in the crater of Hale Ma yeah, ladies. ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the fires of Pele. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
gun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, the home to our Polynesian cousins, the Maori, the great warriors of the South Pacific. The warrior before you performs the wero, the formal and traditional greeting of those islands. This greeting is performed in front of visitors or strangers who are about to enter the village or the sacred lands called the Marai. The warrior demonstrates to you, the visitor, his fearlessness, his strength, and his mastery of the long club spear called the Tayaha. Although his movements and facial expressions may seem fierce, this is a greeting. So, ladies and gentlemen, when the warrior of New Zealand sticks his tongue out at you, he is saying to all of you, Hello there. <laughs> and now, the Maori of New Zealand welcome you with the haka, used to instill strength and courage before entering battle. Now my Heidi my Welcome to New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the hot mom. And now the hand action song.
10 most beautiful beaches in Polynesia. And Polynesia has a thousand islands. Now what's very interesting about the Samoan people, they still practice the ancient art of tattooing, which is called the tatau. In their tool, they have a needle-like comb that is tapped into their skin. Now that takes six to 10 hours a day, 10 days to two weeks. It's very loud. And that design is from the waist down to their hips. Down to their knees, sorry. <laughs> Getting mixed up with your dancing. <laughs> so, and what's really interesting about them, they're also happy-going people. So they're gonna share their fun-loving songs with them. In fact, many years ago, the men... Here we go, lots of noise for the Samoan boys. Here they come. Everyone say Samoa. Samoa. Thank you, my friends. Our next dance from Samoa is called Fa'ataupati. Can everyone say it? Fa'atomachi. That was fa terrible. <laughs> One more time. Fa'ataupati. Fa'ataupati. Thank you. Very good. In English, it means slap dance. We're going to stand here half naked with a skirt on and we're going to slap each other around. Because it makes you happy. Are you happy? This is gonna hurt, but if it makes you happy, we're gonna do it. I hate this job. How about a hand for my cousin? This is cousin Navin. Give it up for Navin. <laughs> Over here, my son. Smile for the people. <laughs> Take a picture. That's enough. That's enough. Slap that, my friends. Turn. Pa. Hey, that's the Lua. Turn. Pa. Ladies and gentlemen, a Siva Fatafati, creating for the men of Samoa to maintain endurance, power, and agility. And that is why we have no mosquitoes at the Luau. How about a round of applause for the happy Fatafati men of Samoa? And you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. It still hurts. <laughs> now we're going to bring the ladies on stage. You guys want to see the women? <laughs> yeah? Me too. <laughs> Let's bring them up. Whoa, whoa. So we are. From the islands of Samoa, we're going to be using the coconut shells, the Siva Ipu Popo. So, yeah. <laughs> I 
Up in the hand for the men and the women, huh? Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Down the the way! Down the the way! Up together for the musicians. Come on, we can't forget about that, right? Give it up for these guys. I'm a lover. Everyone hands together, please hands together like this and rub. Very good. In Samoa, this is what we call Millie. Everyone say Millie. Millie. Faster. Come on, Millie, Millie. Millie. Nice and warm. Millie. Millie. Keep rubbing. I'll let you know when I see smoke. <laughs> when I say Patti, you give me one clap. Millie. 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 <laughs> Patti. 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 Very good. Everyone say Patti. Patti is a high sound we use in Samoa. A simple clap. That's the high sound. That's the Patti. The low sound is what we call Po. Everyone say Po. Hands in a cup shape like this. Cross them together. Hit it. That's the low sound. Po. 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 High sound. Patti. Here's the difference. Patti. Patti. Low sound. Po. Po. Patti. Patti. Po. Po. Patti. Millie, pay attention. <laughs> High sound patty, low sound po. In Samoa, we had no microphones. Microphones just arrived last week. <laughs> Back then, no microphones, so we use signals. We're going to try that tonight, okay? My signals for tonight, when I point up, you give me a patty. When I point down, give me a po. Okay, follow my finger. Wait till it moves. Okay? Here we go. Late. Try again. There you go. Very good. Double time. Let's go. Very good. That's the high sound. That's the party. Watch now. Low sound. Ho. Hey. Ho. Very good. Louder. Come on. Ho. Here we go. <sighs> Terrible. <laughs> Let's try that again. Come on. Let's try that again. Here we go. Po, 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 po. Almost. Get in there. <laughs> it always works. Now, no instruments back in the days, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that. No instruments. So as a village, we get together like this. And as a village, we use the mili, the patsy, and the pole for us to sing to and for us to dance to. Okay? So real quick, a famous beat that was made in Samoa. This beat goes with two poles, one patsy. It became a famous song. Sing along if you know the song. Goes like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Here we go. Po. Po. Patti. Yes. Recognize the beat? <laughs> Good job, my friends. Thank you for participating. Hope you learned something. Mahalo. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Nice and loud for Cousin Jerry. Thank you. Very good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the late 1920s, early 1930s, Hula took on a new form. The songs are being written in is. I'm going to introduce each one. Please welcome them. Here's our boss lady. 